nothing here ever been broken. <laughs> really broken, not feeling sorry for yourself or, you know, because you didn't make money at the stock market, but I mean broken where you're just on your hands and knees crying and you have nowhere else to turn. It's a hard feeling. I've been there, and everybody here, I think, has been there at one time or another. I just think back when, like David, David was a king, and he was destined to be the king. But he was a king of a lot of broken people, and he had to try to make them believe in something. And everybody knew that he was from the royal line, and but they just knew God as God. They didn't know what was to come. You know, they only abided by what David told them and, and what the, some of the few prophets did. But they were broken. I mean, they were starving. They didn't have clothes. Their children were starving. I mean, it, it's just hard to believe what they went through compared to us. I mean, we get upset when we get a little bit of ice on the road and can't run down to the store to get a loaf of bread. I mean, they couldn't even buy bread or make it because they had nothing. You know, then you had my, my whole point with the readings I picked were that back, back in them days, there was a lot of broken people. And John told of it, and John, he went through hardships and trials and tribulations. Um, Paul was another one that, you know, he'd, he'd go out and preach, and he'd be like preaching to nobody. You know, he had to prove, he had to somehow proved to them that God was there to lift them up, to help put them back together in their, in their time of need. Even though it's not world, worldly possessions, you can't be put back together unless your mind is put back together where it needs to be. And you need to have somebody to believe in or something to believe in that even though you don't see it, you know it's there. I mean, it's, there's been miracles, there's been, you know, thousands of years people have said, God is there, our Father is there. I mean, you have miracles when Jesus walked. You know, you had John that was uh, going around saying that, the Savior's coming, the Savior's coming better than me. And, and then when he came to the river and John was there, and Jesus told him, I'll wash your feet because of what you've been doing to bring the people to me. And other things. You had the Gentiles and the Jews, and when they went into the wilderness with Moses, just on Moses' word that God spoke to them. I mean, for 40 years, two hours, and three minutes, they were in the wilderness. I added the three minutes. <laughs> but I asked Mark, and that's where he told me it was. So. But, I mean, they, they all were praying because they were broken. And, they, and even though it took 40 years, they stayed with it. You know, some, some days were worse, some days were good, but they stayed with it and they found out that there is something to heal them, to put them back together. You had the blind man when Jesus helped him see. You had the, the Roman soldier that his daughter was dying and Jesus brought her back to life. I mean, people had to see it, but we don't have to see it because we know it's here. I mean, some of us have had religion break from this big. Some people have just, you know, 10 years, 20 years. And it, I mean, 
when you see the Holy Spirit, as I think everybody here has seen, felt the Holy Spirit in their lives. When my time was Tres Dias, just like Pastor Bernard. I mean, I got baptized here, and I know that the Lord was looking out for me, and I was broke. I mean, I was in a wheelchair at that time. And I mean, I felt the presence, but nothing like the Holy Spirit when all three come down on you. It's, it's, it's like glue, just building you right back up and giving you something to believe in. You know, we all go through tough times, but nowhere near like what other people do. You know, you look around, you go to Walmart, and you've got people on the corner with signs, you know, for, for food or money. You know, and a lot of that is, they're broken, but at least they have enough energy to go out and try. They must have something they're believing in, where they can believe in, that there's good in people that will help them. It's just, you know, you got the drugs and the drinking. I mean, everybody here knows somebody that was an alcoholic or is an alcoholic that is hit bottom. And that's why have, they have the 12-step program. It's all based on God, Jesus. Even in someone that can help them, and that—that's what you know. Being broken and then being blessed, because we're all blessed. I mean, every day we get up and we have a roof over our head. We have a little bit of food in the refrigerator or the cupboard. You know, we got a little bit of heat. I mean, we're blessed compared to a lot of people. I mean, right now, that it shouldn't even be that way. I mean, we're, we're all, we all, we're not, nobody here is rich, but we are the richest country in the world. Not only in money, but in giving. Our country, every other place comes to us to get food and, because we do have the means to give the broken people. And there's a lot of them people that do really appreciate what we're giving them. And that's why I had, I had to do this on being broken because of how many people I see that are broken and how many that know that are broken in other areas and places and we are broken here. You know, we, we have a family, we have a, a nice warm church to go to. to Tell our father, you know, father, we we want to help people. We want to do this. We want to do that. We're blessed. Everyone here is blessed to at least have what they have compared to Africa and India. I mean, I just couldn't imagine, you know, going there and. You know, crawling around and going through the garbage and giving your kids water from the toilet just so they can drink. That's broken. That, I mean, that's really broken. And I don't think anybody here has been quite that bad, but, but your spirit can be broken. <coughs> Once your spirit's broken, you hit bottom. But that's when in the readings, it said, God, as things happen to you, they're tough. He makes it tough on you, it gives you character, and it builds endurance. And I, and I believe that God put you, if you're going down on a spiral, He waits till you hit bottom. So He can build you up one step at a time. And it's not going to be in, in a day or a month. You know, your prayers sometimes are answered in a day. Sometimes they're answered ten years from now. But if you keep enduring his love and his compassion, you will be blessed. Just like everybody here is blessed. And God is always with us. And he blesses everybody here every day. And if you know somebody that is broken, talk to them. You know, a lot of people don't want to hear it, but there are some people out there that do want to hear it. Because 
they need something. And I know that we have a church here that can put it in their minds, at least get the spark going. You know, whether they come here or go someplace else, it doesn't matter. You know, they're broken, they need to be fixed, and God's the only one that can fix it. And I had to do this sermon on this because it just bothers me that I look around and see people doing what they do to themselves. And there's so much here to offer people, to help people with, without even going without. I mean, we wouldn't have to go without if you give you know, somebody a sandwich or throw them a $20 bill. As long as you know it's going for a good purpose and not going up the nose or in the bottle. And there's a lot of that. And, and I think that's the devil bringing people down. You know, we're going to have a good time, go out and snort coke and let's have a good time party. That's not what life's about. Life's family, love, and helping your neighbor. We're blessed.